Hi, this is a case study question of grade 12 physics. The question reads, the figure shows four pairs of parallel identical connecting plates separated by the same distance 2 cm and arranged perpendicular to x-axis. The electric potential of each plate is mentioned. The electric field between the pair of the plates is uniform and normal to the plates. Now the first question is, for which pair of plates is the electric field along x direction? So we can see in the diagram that there are four set of plates and the potentials are mentioned. We have to find the direction of electric field. Now direction of electric field we know is from higher potential to lower potential. So we have to identify the plates which are at higher and lower potential. If we see set to 1, the left plate is at minus 70 volt, so it is at a lower potential. The right plate is at minus 50 volt, so it is at a higher potential. So the direction of E will be from right to left, that is negative x direction. In set 2, we find that the left is at minus 50, which is at lower potential, and right is at plus 150, which is at higher potential. So the direction remains the same as set 1, that is negative x direction. In set 3, the lower is at minus 20 volt, so it is at a lower potential. Right is at plus 200, so it is at a higher potential. So the direction is from right to left, which is negative x direction. For set 4, the left is at minus 100 volt and the right is minus 400. So minus 100 is at a higher potential. So left is at a higher potential, right is at a lower potential. So the direction of E will be from left to right, that is positive x direction. So the correct option is fourth set which shows positive x direction. Now the second part, the second part, an electron is released midway between the plates of four. In set 4, an electron is released. We have to find out that in which direction will it move. Will it move with constant speed or will it accelerate? So in the fourth set, the direction of electric field is in positive x direction. And an electron, when it is released in an electric field, it's, it experiences a force opposite to the direction of E. So the direction of force, force direction will be negative x direction. Now according to Newton's second law, we know that when force is acting, it will accelerate also. And the direction of acceleration will be same as the direction of force. So this electron will accelerate in negative x direction. So the option is accelerate along negative x direction, that is D. Now the third 
part of the case study. Let V0 be the potential at the left plate on any set. Any set will take. And the left plate is at potential V0. The position is taken to be R is equal to 0 meter. Then potential V at any point in between. The distance between the plates is 2 centimeter. And at any point in between, suppose P, which is between 0 to 2 centimeters, suppose the potential is V, then we have to find the expression for V. So, if the potential difference between the left plate and point P is delta V, then V will be given by V0 plus delta V. And delta V will be given by E into R. Or here R is X, so delta V will be E into X. So the value of V will be V0 plus E X, where E is a constant, the electric field. Now this constant can be positive also, positive in the case of set 4 and negative in the case of set 1, 2 and 3. So, E is a constant or E if we represent by alpha, then our expression will be V is equal to V naught plus alpha X, where alpha is a constant, positive or negative, depending upon this set. So, if we compare this expression, we find that set A is the correct option because in B, the power is 2, in C, the power is half and in D, the power is 3 by 2. Now coming to the fourth part of the case study question. The fourth part says, let E1, E2, E3 and E4 be the magnitudes of the electric field between the pair of the plates. Then we have to find which relation is correct. Like we have to find the value of electric field in all the set. So in set 1, the magnitude of electric field, the formula for magnitude of electric field is delta V by delta R. So we will find the potential difference between each plates in all the sets and divide by the distance to find, to get the magnitude of the electric field. In set 1, the potential difference is V2 minus V1 by delta R or V2 is minus 50 minus minus 70. So this comes out to be 20 by distance is 2 centimeter, 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this comes out to be 10 to the power 3 unit will be electric field Newton per Coulomb. In set 2, the electric field will be V2 minus V1 that is 150 minus minus 50 that is 50 divided by 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this is 200 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this comes out to be 10 to the power 4 Newton per Coulomb. In set 3, the electric field will be 200 minus minus 20, that is plus 20, divided by 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this is 220 divided by 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 that is 1 1 0 0 0 Newton per Coulomb. In set 4 it will be 
minus 400 plus 100 divided by 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So minus 300 minus is just showing the direction. So this is 300 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So this comes out to be 15000 0, 0, 0 Newton per Coulomb. So if we compare, this is 15,000, this is 11,000, this is 10,000, and this is 1,000. So we find that E4 is greater than E3 is greater than E2 is greater than E1. So the correct option is C. Now the OR part of the fourth sub-question, an electron is projected from the right plate of set 1. Set 1, an electron is projected from the right plate. From this plate, an electron is projected. And it comes to rest at the left plate. The speed with which it was projected, we have to find the speed with which this was projected so that it comes to rest in, in the, on the left plate. So we have to find the initial velocity. We have to find out and final velocity is given zero. Now we need to find out what is with what acceleration because this electron will experience a force. So when it will experience a force, it will get accelerated. We have to find the acceleration. Now the force on an, on an electron will be given by minus E E. And the force is also given by mass into acceleration. So mass into acceleration is minus E into E or acceleration is minus E by M into E. Now E by M is charge to mass ratio and that is given as minus 1.76 into 10 to the power 11 into electric field in set 1 is 1000. That is 10 to the power 3. So this is minus 1.76 into 10 to the power 14 meter per second square. Now we have to find the initial velocity. Final velocity is 0. Acceleration is we have found out. And one more thing what we know is x, that is 2 centimeter, 10 to the power minus 2 meter. So we will use the equation v square is equal to u square plus 2as, v0 is u square plus a is negative, so 2 into 1.2. 76 into 10 to the power 40 into distances 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So u square will be this when we bring it on the other side it will become positive 4 into 1.76 into 10 to the power 12 or this is 6 for the 24 2 carrying 7 for the 28 33 carrying 4 ones are 4, 7.04 into 10 to the power 12. Or u will be the under root of this. 7 will come in between 2 and 3. If we take round off 2.5, it will be 6.25. So near about something 2.5 or 6 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. So if we check the options, this one is close to it. It can be like 2.6. It will be 2.6 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. Hope the problem is clear to you.